What is up, guys? NYK31 here, Madden 16, uh, Madden Ultimate Team Salary Cap Mode. Oof. This game is going to be ugly. This guy. This guy. When you talk about cheese, we have the Royale with cheese going on here. We have man nanos, we have zone nanos, we have double loop, we have crossfire, we have double A gap, we have all 11 men in coverage, motion snapping, anything and everything you can think of, this guy does. And normally, when I'm playing these games and I'm against a guy like this, than the first couple of plays. I usually don't even want to bother. There's better use. Bad. I was way too far underneath there. There's better use of my 35, 40 minutes than this nonsense. So I usually just say, screw it. I'm just not going to bother myself with this. But you know what? I said, to hell with this dude. Let me show. A little bit of ego got involved here. And I said, let me show that I can hang make an example out of this man so I stayed with the game um, I got Johnny football and this team set up to run the Eagles playbook set it up a little bit different than the Panthers power spread more speed on the field for this type of system got T.Y. Hilton a 99 route running T.Y. Hilton a 93 overall Dwayne Nelson with 98 route running Julius Thomas Adrian Peterson and based on Sean Jackson, and you see he's got the double loop look going on. And I'm doing a combination of pinching, getting the ball out quick. It's really all that I can do. You see how fast it comes in. Hitting the flash and underneath and going one-on-one -on -one downfield. I get a back shoulder fade animation there, or back shoulder catch animation there. As he's going back and forth from double loop zone, double loop man, and just getting it quick and trying to pick that sucker up. And he's having a hard time usering, so I answer. And that's really all that you can do against that double uh, loop blitz. It comes in so fast that you either got a motion, a tight end to block the A gap uh, with a pinch or get the ball out quick. And here, when I see him passing, I know he's going to that tight end corner again. I know he's going to force it. And I use it with Derek Brooks because that's how money play players roll. They want the deep shot downfield. I gave him the drag, but he didn't take it. So here we go. He's showing me a double A gap this time. I figured to myself, the tight end screen should work. Because there's no one out there. He's sending so many people that I should be able to get that in. And I do. So I got a pretty good handle on this. I'm motioning here to get an extra body here for um, the shotgun power. Shot out to Grafter for giving me that little hint, for that little tip to uh, pick up the uh, play side safety. And I'm up 14-7, so here comes the empty verticals parade, and here's just a series of bad user plays by me. What I'm doing is that I'm over committing to the tight end breaking inside, and, you know, I just take myself out of position. Just bad user D, this entire possession by me. Well, there I just, you know, got caught with the four verts and drag. I had to take the uh, tight end there based on the coverage I was um, in, and I didn't have anyone checked underneath. And again, here in man coverage, he sends him straight down the seam. I'm anticipating inside. I'm out of position right away. So it's just, just a terrible user job by me on this drive here. Kind of upset at myself. And he does the motion snap to the um, wide receiver. I followed him and didn't see the screen coming. So bad drive by me. And here comes the max coverage. I wait for the receivers to clear. I take a shot with T.Y. He has 98 spec catch, so why not? And here comes the heat. I get it off. I do a hot route um, hitch. Here it comes again. I pick it up. And I throw that too soon. Got to wait for him to clear the safety, but I don't have any time. So that's really tough to do. So I turn the ball over. So he's back on O. He's trying to clock me now in the third quarter. He runs a trail 
angle route combo, tough to pick up. Clocking me again. What do you think is coming? If you're going to guess fullback dive, you win a cookie. Don't quite get there in time to lay the lumber. So, uh, you know, a weak attempt at a big hit. Motion snap. Everyone gets sucked. Off of the races. So, looking kind of bleak for me this drive. Here I go, Yolo. We're going to outside blitz. He misses the fullback and forces it to the uh, motion dragging receiver. I guess it is mine. He was setting me up for that. He was going to hit that no matter what. Or try to throw that no matter what. Motion snap again, but look at this play by Rondé Barber. I have him right in the spot to where he's going to motion him out. There's not a lot of room down there, so I played him underneath, and Rondé Barber housed it. There's no more gratifying feeling than when you check bait someone like that. Not only does it pay off with the INT, but you get the pick six. So now, 21-14, I see that bunch formation, probably verticals or a mesh, maybe both. I drop someone back there to kind of obstruct everything, and Melvin Ingram breaks through, busts through the double team, and eventually gets through. 92 uh, pass rush move for you guys looking for budget pass rushers. And here I see a crosser, or I think a crosser's going to come, so I just want somebody in the way. So I drop a defensive tackle into a hook. He gets in the way enough, and I get another pick six. So 27-14, and... He cries uncle, so this vermin has been dispatched. He's going to eject and go along his merry way. Every now and then you get the server survey. Here's, for those of you interested in such things, this is, this is his rank compared to mine. That's pretty high. That's, you know, tournament qualifying high. And me, I'm, you know, pretty late to the mutt game. I've been in CFM world for most of this year, pretty much all of this year, so... That's pretty respectable, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah, the sim guy shows that he can hang. But it's just so irritating. I don't want to play games like that. It just limits so much that what you can do, you know. And the guys who um, use that stuff, they know it limits what you can do. All you can basically do is throw it fast on the flat, throw it fast underneath, or chuck it one-on-one. -on -one. That's all you have time to do. It gets boring, and my attention span drifts, and I'd rather do something else than see that nonsense over and over again in a game. So, anyhow, I'm going to be ejecting a lot of videos uh, today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.